we can elaborate the use case using the sub diagrams. Let me show you how it works. We create a use case diagram and suppose we are working on a retail system. And this is the system boundary of the retail system. And uh, we create a use case. For example, we say there's a manage sales order, which is uh, for the sales manager. And uh, we have the manage inventory. And here's the inventory controller. So two simple high level use case. And when we work in the details of the managed sales orders, we can create a sub diagram of it. And another use case diagram. And in this use case diagram, we can do the de what are the details of the of the uh, managed sales order use case. And it's up to you to put the system in here or not, because all the things in here in this diagram will be under the retail system. So we may not necessary to put the system boundary in here. But if you'd like, you can just drag it out, drag this one out, and put it in the diagram, just like this. And you can continue to do the modeling. You can see this. The system boundary will not show under the managed sales order diagram because it is th this is the auxiliary wheel of the retail system in here. So we can work on the details. We put the sales manager in the diagram, and now in the in the managed sales order, the manager can create sales order. sales port and doing etc something else so and if the sales order can be is another high level use case you and you want to uh, model the details of it you can create another sub diagram and model the detailed use case under the great sales order so pretty simple